Hey there. Today we're going to talk about a very common use case, a very powerful one, and one that actually can cause a little bit of frustration for some people, and we're here to address that frustration. So all that to say is how to basically get all your related list records updated based on something going on in the parent account. So let's say, for example, an account that you're working with, you do a change, maybe you say, you know, the, the account type has changed and you want that to trickle down to all the contacts. You could have one contact, you'd have a hundred contacts. You want all of them to be updated. Another common example is on deals. Maybe people have your contact roles or your custom modules that are attached to a deal. And when I close that deal, I want all those to be updated based on a certain status or checkbox or something like that. So those are two small examples, but here's the way we're gonna do it to make it actually really easy. You're not gonna have to involve developers, kind of go back and forth, define the requirements, something that's gonna be easy, quick to iterate on, uh, something very straightforward. Forward. So we're going to do the example, kind of the last one I said, where I have a deal here. And so on this deal, I have actually three clients, three different people, three different testing people here on my test upsell deal. And what I want to happen is basically whenever I hit the closed one stage, I want to go into each of my contacts and say uh, basically that you're now a client. Right? I want to do that change from whatever they're at. It doesn't matter what they're at. I want it to be client, right? So hit the stage, everybody becomes a client, all of the contact persons. It's a little tricky to do that. You know, we could do a field update, but that actually only is going to update the first client, the one on the client name, this person here. But there's still two other people and they need to get that update as well. So how we're going to do it, we're going to go into the workflow editor. And first of all, we're going to define our trigger, right? So we're going to say, okay, stage is and if you remember uh, the value, closed one, right? So if you remember the flow, it's basically, hey, whenever a deal closes, I need everybody to become a client. So this is that first part when the stage is actually closed one. And I'm gonna do a condition just because this is uh, you know, a live CRM. I'm gonna say deal name has to contain, let's just make sure, yeah, test. Okay, perfect. So now only the real test deals are gonna be uh, affected by this. And so now what do we do? So for some people say, okay, let's do a field update. I could do a new update and I can actually update the client. But again, that's only the client, right? I could say, okay, I think it was the status is client, right? So I could do that, but it's only the one person. So instead what we gotta do is we have to do all the related lists. We have to use the contact role related list. And to update that, I'm gonna go down to my custom action and use the advanced field update. This is really kind of the trick, really actually quite powerful and something that is just gonna make all this super simple. So I come up, there's a lot of, there are four different flows here and we have different videos on different flows. This one here, we're gonna talk about this, the related list records. So yeah, until now, you can only update one record. Now you can kind of see by the picture, you're going from the deal and you're going to each of the different contacts. So we're gonna click that. So as we'd expect, it's saying, okay, which related list? So if remember, we're talking about client roles. The cool thing quickly here is you can change a lot of things. So you could, you know, if you have change orders under this deal, you could change that. If you have products under this deal, you could change those. There's a lot of good things here, but we're gonna use the client role. And so then what happens is I get this option here. And the first one area here, we're actually not gonna use, but it's actually a really cool area. Basically what happens here is I could do a field mapping. So I don't just have to do a static value of client. I could say, hey, whatever stage we're at on the deal, I want to update the contact status with that. So now it's dynamic based on which stage you're at, which is really, really cool. But this use case, what we're doing is we're actually doing something maybe not as uh, <laughs> not as advanced, but maybe more powerful, which is just saying, okay, I want the status for each of my contacts to be updated to client. Right? And that's that's as simple as that. One cool thing with this, you know, if we wanted to, we could use some merge tags, right? So I could come in here and I can actually, again, grab contacts or information from the deal, but I can also do it from even the account, the client, a ton of other stuff if I wanted to. And then you can see when I come in here, I can dynamically put in whatever. So if I want to say client, then the amount of the deal as the contact status, that can happen. But for now, we're just going to do a static client. I'll hit save and we're going to say update each contact as a client. Save and associate. Right, we're just gonna make sure that we check this just to make sure it triggers, right, hit save. So now let's jump back over into this and let's do open up all three of these guys just to see kind of the, the process in action actually. So, you know, Tom Tester, he's a potential client. So we'll see how that changes. Test Tester here, let's see where he's at. He's not contacted yet even. And then test, he's not contacted yet. So all these guys should actually get an update. So let's see what happens. So I'm gonna hit closed one, save that. And that should have triggered the workflow. So let's quickly look at the timeline. Sometimes it takes a second, so I'm gonna refresh. 
And great. So yeah, sure enough, you can see that under here, we have that sample workflow I created and said update each contact as a client. So that ran, it looks like it happened. Great on the deal, but let's do the moment of truth. Let's look at all of our contacts that we have. So again, we're not just updating one, we're gonna update every single person who's on the deal. So we're gonna jump over, start with our first guy here. Maybe I'll pause it, let them all load. And so yeah, coming into here, sure enough, client, has been updated. And if I look at my timeline, right around the same time that that triggered, so right at 12.04, come up for your 12.04 potential client to client. This is also client, so we're going from not contacted to client, and then finally timeline here, you can see not contacted client. So across the board, every single one of my clients have been updated, not a lick of code, all, all very easy to use in that editor. So if this is something that you might be interested in, what it's part of is a tool set called WES, Workflow Enhancement Suite, we, we call it WES for short. There's a lot of great stuff, right? Not just what we talked about, there's all those other flows. Check it out here, blueroot.ca slash WES. It's gonna kind of go through all of the use cases that we have how to get started, super easy kind of gifts to walk you through the different steps, reviews from top partners, and then how to download for a 10-day trial. So please give that a try. If you have any questions or anything at all, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.